Hi everyone, welcome to Newcastle Fans TV. Breaking news today, Neil Redfern is gone. Yeah, gone, literally. Uh, the club have put out a very, very, very small statement. If you're wondering where I am, by the way, I'm actually under the weather, I'm a little bit ill. I've, um, I'm blaming Isha, Fordy or Kyle for this. I'm literally coming doom with a bit of man flu, but I'll be all right, man, I'll be all right. But um, yeah, the statement, let's put on screen for you first of all, and it is literally brief. Newcastle United can confirm that Neil Redfern has stepped down from his role as head coach of the club's under-23 side. He's officially took up the position in June and assisted Ben Dawson during the first team's pre-season trip to China in July. The club would, like, would like to thank Neil for his services and wishes him well for the future. So very, very brief. Now the report coming out is that the club played last night which is Monday, against Aston Villa, where they got beat. Flang Lejeune played, more on him in a second. Um, and, the, and there was a report going around that Neil Redfern wasn't there. And we obviously, with us, the lads, were chatting in the main chat, trying to find the news out. And um, the reports by the local and national, I must stress, saying that Redfern wasn't part of the team that went down to a last-minute uh, defeat last night at Villa Park. So, the saying, uh, a couple of reports are saying that the assistant, he's fell out with the assistant or one of the coaches at the club and Redfern's had enough and decided that's it for me I'm walking out now Redfern's had this reputation of first of all not being a club very long you talk about his clubs you talk about Leeds you talk about Liverpool women you talk about the under 23s assistant Ben Dawson last season and now this season he doesn't stick around long he has been heavily linked because obviously he's a Barnsley lad through and through to the Barnsley job obviously he was a good great midfielder for them in the lower league the championship well the old division one back then scoring goals for foot uh, he is linked to that job it wouldn't be too surprising if he heads off there however he's gone so what does it mean so Ben Dawson obviously has been moved up um, into a higher role and I actually think personally for me, I said this and we've done a video so go over and have a look at the under 23 channel where we talk about the women's and the under 23s, that's been uploaded today so go over, have a look, have a link, have a look in the link, I can't speak um, about that, about the game more, a little bit more but I think Ben Dawson, for me, I would like to see him come back down to be under 23 boss, I don't think the club will do that, I think we'll probably be employ someone to come in or they'll give a promotion somewhere else because Ben Dawson's got this new role higher up where he looks at the whole youth development personally for me I'd like to see Ben Dawson go down because he's done fantastic things granted you would say because of his promotion but I think the lads have suffered with him not being there and that's a magnificent work that Ben Dawson did after taking over Peter Beardsley other news is that Florian Lejeune played 71 minutes which is great he won't be risked this weekend, he's going to be not risked by Steve Bruce and he'll be ready after the national break for contention against, da, 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 you've guessed it, Aston Villa at Villa Park, where he's literally just played last night. So that's the news. Interesting about Neil Redford. Of course, coming up in the next couple of days, we've got the big mammoth preview as well. Johnny's going to be presenting that. I've done my combined 11. You've got Owen, you've got Paul involved in that as well. So that's later on this week because he's a seam of loving the new style preview. So we'll keep them going. And then, of course, uh, we've got all the reaction uh, to Bournemouth. You wouldn't want to go anywhere else. Newcastle Fans TV is leading the way. But head over to the other 23 channel where there's a video there. Tell everyone. Bye bye.